Hey y'all, happy Monday, long time no see. So, today's Monday. Today's also um, Read Across America week. So I'm wearing my pajamas today. I was a pug today for pajama day and everything. So, um, yeah, I took a week off of vlogging and then I still have the week before vlog to edit. So I'll probably be going up today on Monday on Read Across America weekday. Um, so yeah. I just need a little break, just a little break. I have a lot of things going on, so that's pretty much why. Like, I'm trying to finish up our school's yearbook. I have to get everything ready for our literacy night, which I'm gonna show you guys today. Um, and also today, I'm gonna show you guys my new office area at home, which I'm so excited about because now I can finally do work at home and not be at school so late every single day and just do things at home while the kiddos are napping and things like that. So, um, yeah, so, yeah, so. Well, yeah, I mean, someone's gonna say that, but it's Read Across America Week. I shared this last year, but during Read Across America Week, I focus on a author a day. A little, this like PowerPoint presentation that I created, I actually shared it to some teachers from my Instagram. I just told them like to comment their email address and I emailed it to them. I can't put it on TPT because um, I use clip arts from Google. But today, we focus on the author of Llama Llama. I felt like it was fitting because it was pajama day, you know? So this is what the slides look like. The author today today was Miss Anna. We go into a little bit about the author and then we do a little activity because something special about her books is that she had so many words that rhymed. So then tomorrow we're gonna do Dr. Seuss because tomorrow's hat day talk about him and then we're going to do dr seuss quantities we're going to count how many and write it in the boxes wednesday we'll be doing elephant and piggy because elephant and piggy is no because wednesday is animal print or camel day they're animals so you know fits the fits it you know go into a little bit about the author of those books and then we do beginning sounds on that and then thursday is pete the cat actually thursday is our sports day but um i think i have a sports book for pete the cat i don't know why i chose it pete the cat but probably because he's just like a hit you know who doesn't love pete the cat and we match the shapes and then friday the author is themselves because you know of course they're dressed up as book characters on friday for our book character parade i will be snow white if you're not on my instagrams you wouldn't have known that i shouldn't have said it but i'm gonna be snow white and um actually our whole pre-k gray level is going to be a dressing up for it like with the snow white theme so i'm snow white my partner is the queen the wicked queen the queen and then um we have a magic mirror and then we have some of the dwarfs so super excited about that so that's what's going on today well this week but i want to show you guys what i've been working on for our literacy night because pretty much in charge of it had to get all the games and things together so i'm gonna show you guys what i got all right but first um more updates for it this week so i told you guys when i start putting my newsletters on tpt this is my spring newsletter i have to send this home i'm gonna take a picture of it and send it in class tag to my parents first but i'm so excited to get these on teachers pay teachers because they are just so cute it has little eggs on it I love it. And it has, I'm gonna have like, I think like seven different designs for my spring newsletter, so look out for those. But again, literacy night. So um, I was on, I am on the academic team at my school. So it was a whole group of us working together to get the literacy night done. Um, but it was 1K that took the majority of the work. I was the pre-K four that took the majority of the work. And then another, pre-k three that took the majority of their work for their grade level so um i <laughs> i'm supposed to have all the posters um for the night but i have some typos on some of them so we're gonna get those blown up tomorrow and it was like little bitty typos like little stuff that i just like completely read over i did the editing to these late at night the kindergarten teacher she made like the backdrop and everything for it all i did was edit my fonts and like how i do that type of thing so i only edited this part the out the background everything was given to me which is it's so pretty i'm obsessed with it so i have the maker station one right here that i have to edit 
the book walk one right here that I have to edit, the syllable hop and retelling race. I had one thing messed up on every one of those. Isn't that not ridiculous? But that's what happens when you don't proofread. I have the pre K four poster. The parents know they're in the right spot. This is where the pre K four people are. I'm trying to decide if I want to spray them with matte spray paint. I'm thinking so, so there's not a glare. I do not like those glitters at all. I have the waste basket basketball. So this would be one station. Each station I put a number on it because I also have a ticket that I made for it. So we have the waste basket basketball. Um and like how the game works if the parents like want to read into how to do them. Um, our beginning sounds relay and I make the a whole activity to go along with this. I'll show you guys. Um, I need to set it up today so we'll do that. And then just a description on how the game works. And then this is like our, like when they walk in, like let's score some reading skills. So that's what that looks like. So again, trying to decide if I wanna spray them with matte spray paint. We shall see, I don't know. So, but another big thing that I did was for our book walk. It's kind of mostly just like a cake walk. Instead of them walking on numbers, since a literacy night, I had our workroom lady blow up different book covers that had to do with sports because it's a sports theme night. So they're gonna be walking on different book covers. Now I do have a few that I'm gonna like cut off the white on them if it's like a, like an excessive amount of white, but most of them are ready to go. So these will be used as our book walk places and the person in charge in that area will just have each one of the covers like in a stack and they'll just pull one and then they'll have to match their cover they're standing on with the cover that she's holding but i put that into our um description so that the parents know that the students might need your help matching their book cover to the one that wins the truck the prize so that's what i did for our literacy night book walk super excited about that and um I need to take these home so I can edit these. But I'm super excited about it. I wish I could have purchased more decor. I didn't ask the school because ours is in the cafeteria. It's on a Thursday night. The next day we gotta go to school. I'm not gonna break down all that stuff for school on Friday. I don't wanna do that. So the next game, the beginning sound relay race. So these baskets were in our um gym i'm just going to be using these but each basket will have a sports related ball on it so football um, volleyball golf ball tennis ball there's some more balls somewhere there they are <laughs> basketball and soccer ball so then i made these little cards with the letters on it so what they'll do is they'll pull a card they have to run and put that card in the basket that has that beginning sound so like the tennis ball they'll run and put the t in the tennis ball basket so i'm gonna get all of that printed off well together now and you guys can watch me do it I got all the pieces cut out. So now I'm gonna take a Velcro dot. I am a Velcro dot gal. And let me tell you something, Velcro dots don't work good for everything. But I use them on everything. I'm gonna just stick it like that. And this is what the child will see. It makes sense, I guess, right? So football. So they'll pull the letter F. We'll say what sound does F make? which one of those balls starts with the sound, they'll run, put the piece of paper in that bucket. I think that's gonna be cute. So I'm gonna put the signs on the rest of them. And then, I actually think we're gonna get out of here today because I need to go home and fix the ones that I messed up on. I call myself the queen of typos. 
And I'm not ashamed of it, you know. You can judge me for it if you want to, but you know what you're not gonna do? Have me write no paper for you. Cause I'm not gonna pull through for you, okay? <laughs> That's cute. And I just made these with images from Google and PowerPoint. That's it. Super quick, super easy. Oh, that was stupid. For a super fun game. Those are prepped and ready to go. Oh, this is hot. This makes my heart happy. I'm excited. I didn't show you guys the tickets that I made. So these are the tickets. They start. With... See you tomorrow. Bye, bye, Say bye. bye. <laughs> so these are the tickets that I made so I made tickets just so one station doesn't get clogged up with people because the kids want to play there first so I made I started this at our liter literacy night I made the tickets for something and we used them like all around the school oh we had like a night where parents could just come and they like had the they visited classrooms we talked about different things I think it was academic night so I made the tickets for the academic night which led into the literacy night we used tickets again but the teacher next to me the pre-k three teacher made the tickets for those and I made the tickets for our pre-k four math night um this is literacy night. Math night, she made those. Literacy night, I made them for our pre-K four teachers. So I started all different places. So it goes one, two, three, four, then two, three, four, you know, like that. So you started all different places and we know that they finished that um, station because a person at that station will be coloring in the smiley face. So these are the tickets, six different tickets for starting at six different stations. So that's that. That's all ready to go. So yeah, so now, okay, I just need to edit the ones that I had the typos on. Thank goodness for my Miss Tucker, who's my assistant, she's the best. I need to edit these, print them off at home, bring them in tomorrow, try to get her to make the posters tomorrow morning, so that when I go to pre-k meeting tomorrow afternoon, I have every single thing to just present, show everybody how it works, and everything's gonna be perfect and run smoothly. That's what I'm praying for. But right now, I'm going to, I need to send a video on class tag to my parents because I did not send home yeah I forgot to send home my, my weekly newsletter today so I need to do that just tell them what's on it and it'll come home tomorrow but I just want to make sure they're update like they're updated on everything going on this week since it's like a fun week at school so I'm gonna do this I'm gonna get out of here so that I can go home and edit a vlog to go up today Woo! Vloggy vlog. I forgot to talk to you guys today and I'm so sorry, but it was a great day. Um, I didn't show y'all my little decor area either for Zeus, you know, for this Read Across America week. But it was a great day. I did present all of the things to that we're doing for Leaders Unite to the teachers today. They all loved them. Um, we talked about Dr. Seuss today and we read Green Eggs and Ham. Um, kind of crazy. Since it's hat day, that's why I did Dr. Seuss. I don't even have the cat in the hat book yeah but green eggs and ham is like my favorite i ain't no die hard dr seuss fan or nothing like that so whatever but tomorrow we're talking about elephant and piggy and i am a elephant and piggy stan i love them i have every single book in their collection i'm obsessed with them i think they're so funny they're so fun all the things and tomorrow we're going to be using my big ginormous blow up dice we're talking about adding and solving equations and things like that so um yeah, we'll be doing that. But if you're not following me on Instagram, please follow me there because I share so much more every single day. Um, and sometimes I'm, I'm still learning, getting better at the vlog game, so I still forget to pick up the camera sometimes. So please go follow me on Instagram. If you're not, is Life with Miss Jamaica and TikTok Life with Miss Jamaica. You'll get content from me. This camera's shaking. You'll get content from me more often, but I am going to do better with the vlogs because um, you guys seem to enjoy them. But also, I have one thing i want you guys to comment i've been getting comments of like what videos you guys want so y'all want to look into my centers um 
a day in the life like let me know what videos you want to see if you don't just want to see vlogs and also I have a desk area now so I can do some sit down videos if you would love me to do those and talk about anything pre-k anything like teacher related things like that so just let me know but anyway I'm gonna get out of here because it's beautiful outside it's supposed to storm the next three days so me and the kids are about to go play outside it's like 76 degrees we're gonna turn up and um I promise I promise I'll see you guys tomorrow <laughs> literacy night is over I made it everything went so smooth it was so exciting to see something that you kind of like planned out go amazing so super excited about that but now I have all this stuff in here and it's like 6.37. I refuse to leave my room looking like this. So I'm going to put everything in a spot. And hopefully I can maybe get to school to buy me a tote. To put all this stuff in. Because of course we're going to use it again next school year. But I just want to tell you guys that all of the activities and things that I made went amazing. Um, and I, I'm so excited. Anyway, it made, it made my heart very full. Seeing people engage in something that I worked on a lot. So anyway, um... I'm going to get all this stuff together. Those baskets belong to our PE teacher. So I'm going to get all those together to take it back down to the storage room in the PE area. And I'm going to get everything together to put in a tote and try to plead my case on why the school needs to buy me a tote. Yes. So, I did have a few kids that showed up to literacy night, but not near enough. So, I think I'm going to use the rest of the bags that I have made up. I don't know if I recorded myself doing these, but my little maker station items where they can change the beginning sounds. I put them in these bags and showed the parents kind of what words they were going to be making. So, I think I'm going to do this tomorrow with my kiddos and let them take them home. And then all my kids will have one even though they didn't make it to literacy night. So, I'm going to put these by my carpet. It's clean enough. I think we're good to know. Good to know. Good to go. It's like seven o'clock pretty much. So I'm gonna go run and get my kids and go home because Dustin went to pick out his new T ball team for this year. So he's busy. So I'm gonna pick up the kids, go home, and then maybe tonight I'll show y'all my desk space. I've been showing you guys for forever. <laughs> hey y'all, happy Friday. So today is Friday. No, I'm not at school. School was canceled today because uh, we have a very bad high wind warning. Husband is actually on his way home too because he works outside for like electric companies cutting their like trees from their lines and stuff. So um, he's on his way home too because he can't work in this condition. So yeah, but let me change the battery and I'll be right back. I have not done one thing since I talked to you guys. But I think I'm gonna make me an espresso real quick. It's crazy how if I was at school right now, I would be zinging, like all the energy, cause you're not supposed to be snow white today. But now I'm home and it's rainy and it's windy and it's cloudy. I haven't done anything. I almost went to sleep with Sissy. So I just lay her down and it sounds like she's waking up. So I'm gonna make me an espresso. I know I've never showed you guys my coffee bar because, um, I never really vlog at home anymore, but this is the coffee bar for spring. It was so cute for Valentine's Day. But I just have this coffee sign from Hobby Lobby. These little carrots are from Dollar Tree. This cup is from Hobby Lobby. This thing that says sugar is from Marshalls, I'm pretty sure. This is actually a candle. I got it from like our um, Fall Fest. This sign is from Dollar Tree. My Keurig that makes iced coffee, my espresso machine, I got cut off, our Cook's coffee maker that makes like the pot of coffee, um, these two are from Marshall's, uh, this is from Target Dollar Spot, it's from Valentine's Day, that's why it looks like a heart, and then syrups in my little two tray. So this is a coffee bar that I, I mean, this is where I spend a lot of my time, but my sister got me this Chefman's, um, 
espresso maker for Christmas and y'all it is the truth you just put like almond milk or maybe your cream what I was saying oh my goodness um you put your almond milk or your creamer if you want to use creamer in there I use this espresso roast from Starbucks and it's like just strong enough for me I know there's like a actual like espresso coffee there by using no espresso machines and things like that but I just like this one and I promise you're gonna be like zinging so I would like to make a like a um brown sugar shaken espresso like something like that that they give you at starbucks so i'm about to look up some recipes and then we'll try it out what i just seen online seems like it's super duper easier easier easy they put a tablespoon of brown sugar put the make the espresso on top of it shook it up and then just pour cream on top let's see it's not gonna be that easy all right my tablespoon of uh, brown sugar put some new espresso in here you go espresso my brown sugar i was trying to think if i should make like four shots of espresso but usually two is like fine for me and i shook it up so now i think i'm gonna put my almond milk in there first and then put the espresso on top of that and if you're wondering yes i'm wearing footies on the bottom of this sweatshirt so i'm gonna put my almond milk maybe it's like right there and then i'm gonna pour the espresso Let's stir it up and see how it tastes. What are you doing? It's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. I like that it's cold. I'm just ready for the espresso to do its job. <laughs> Hey vlog, happy Saturday. I completely forgot to pick you guys back up yesterday. So sorry about that. So now I'm just gonna let you guys spend the day with me and the fam today. We have to go to Lowe's pick up some things because from the windstorm yesterday while we were out of school, um, we had a lot of damage to the house. Like not like crazy damage, Dustin can just fix it. Mostly like the metal siding pieces, like the trim pieces, those came off. So we're going to Lowe's today to pick up some of those. We can fix those. My mom wants to get a new washer and dryer, so we're gonna meet her there so we can put them on our trailer if she finds one. But I wanna show y'all what I did yesterday. So I think yesterday I did tell you guys too that I wanted to do something to the bedroom and I did this accent brick wall yesterday with just peel and stick wallpaper from Walmart. I'm obsessed with this and it's actually like textured and I have these lights here from Amazon. You just click them three times it's like three different types of brightness levels i made these like i'm pretty sure doing like covid and yeah so of course it's not perfect i'm not a wallpaper or person but i think it looks darn good i think it's a cute accent wall and um i'm washing everything that goes on the bed right now also we did like our dresser i picked up some things you'd be surprised i got most of the decor from family dollar sleeping on them i never go into family dollar so i think it looks so so good um so yeah and also dustin changed up my vanity area so now i have this like big old mirror and i have these lights on it from amazon also i'm obsessed so yeah because i do so much work around the house in every other room except for the bedroom so why wouldn't you want your bedroom to look just as good as your living room and your kitchen and all these other places so yes but please ignore this stuff our house it's, it's an old house that's why we've been like slowly fixing up on it for years and years and years um so we do still need to like all like the old paint whatever kind of paint they had on the walls when the previous owners were here and like repaint like some places in the house so that's one place that needs that done but yes look at my new little area it's so cute so cute so cute i do want to find a new earring organizational thing I have all my earrings in here and i don't think it's very cute so yeah i'm turn my lights off yay <laughs> yay she's upset so we're about to hit the road jack so we're about to hit the road jack and I'll probably pick y'all back up at Lowe's because Sissy needs my energy. <laughs> we 
just got the lows. The sun is shining. It's beautiful outside. Yeah, I have them. Let's go buy some metal stuff for the house. Is it siding, right? Or no? I forgot the name of it. Oh. Weird name. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Florenzic. Florenzic. <laughs> Almost. <laughs>